Who has HD in your family? Our dad. Uh, my mother had HD. My uncle has HD and my grandmother had HD. My dad has it and my, my grandma had it but she died from it. Um, my grandpa had it and he passed away a few years ago so my mom and her two sisters are at risk. My grandma passed away from HD and then my dad currently has HD and then my sister just tested positive. My mom passed away two years ago from it when she was 30 and my 19 year old sister is now symptomatic. So what do you find most difficult about HD? Being the parent to your parent. Becoming a parent for my mom and a caregiver for my mom, that was really hard. How it wipes out families. Watching the progression. Um, the easiest way, like when I explained people how it's affected me, it was like when it started getting bad, it was like watching her drown. Um, and, you know, it's, you're watching from the beach and it's like, I can see you and I can almost get there, but if I go out there, it's going to be an issue and you know, it's, you, you're, you're helpless standing on the beach. There's just nothing you can do. And um, the brain cannot cope with things like, you know, going to school and trying to make friends and trying to learn history and trying to learn math. When, when, you're, when you're back at home trying to take care of a dying parent. So how do you feel when you come to a convention and meet other young people? Um, it makes me feel less alone because I know there's other people going through the same thing that I am. Inspired. I think when we did the HD, HDO raps training, that was one of the coolest weekends I've had in a long time. It was just, it was amazing to meet people, young people with energy. It's like relief. It's like, kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm home. Like, oh my God, somebody understands. There's someone else that knows I'm going through because you feel so alone. It's like a bubble. You know, it's a nice little bubble here because we all can relate. But when you're at home, you know, with your friends, yeah, they'll be there for you, but it's not necessarily that they know exactly what's going on. So it's kind of just, you know, helping them feel comfortable and safe. HD families with young people really need support because Children growing up in these homes are so stressed. They become caregivers at early ages. They don't have, you know, like what you consider just a normal childhood in a sense where they're having to tell their friends, oh, when you come over, just ignore my dad lying on the couch. That's all he can do. And they just need to feel supported in their fight because not only do they have HD, but they just have regular teen stuff going on. And, and it can be so hard to deal with all those things at once. So having people their age with similar circumstances is totally key because they're just as affected as any other member of the family. A lot of us, like the great majority of people in HD families, we're all at risk. And it's really hard to have that burden on your shoulders too. It, we, we, we can't just fall apart too. Like we need to be healthy in ourselves even though our parents aren't healthy. We have to live our lives as well. And that's just really important for us. And people, you know, we need to be supported in that way too. We need to be able to live our lives.